Hello good people, welcome back to Ovidius Tech. In this video I will unbox and review another Lexar NVMe SSD, namely the new NM790 of 1TB, the faster brother of NM710 tested in 2023. As you probably know, Lexar is a leading brand for high performance removable storage solutions owned by the Chinese company Longsys. I specify that this review is not sponsored by Lexar. I bought this SSD for this review. Lexar 790 is advertised as having transfer speeds of up to 7400 Mbps per second on read and 6500 Mbps per second on write, being a direct competitor to Team Group MP44, given they have both identical DRAMless controllers and identical non-flash modules. This product is a budget class NVMe drive, aiming for the sequential speeds of the more expensive DRAM-based SSDs. So the box of this drive is similar in size to the one of NM710, just the color scheme is different, now having white and silver accents on a black background. The back of the box lets us know about the 5 years warranty and that it is produced in China. Inside the box can be found a quick installation guide and the plastic holder containing the SSD and the one M.2 SSD screw which can be useful on motherboards not providing a screw for the secondary M.2 slot. This SSD has a black PCB and is single sided. Despite its metallic appearance, the front label is made of some kind of flexible reinforced polymer behaving more like a thermal pad. However, the black and silver design is quite enchanting. NVMe PCI Express 4.0 drives get hot, therefore it is recommended to use them with a motherboard heatsink for best performance. This model is producing capacities of 512GB, 1TB, 2TB and 4TB. The drive benefits from a 5 years warranty, within the endurance limit specific to each capacity, respectively 500TB written, 1000TB written, 1500 terabytes written and 3000 terabytes written for the 4 terabyte model. After installing the drive on the PCI Express 4.0 M.2 slot and uh, booting up, in Windows I open the Lexar SSD Dash application. The disk information shows only the Lexar drives and provides information about the serial number, the firmware version and capacity, the help status and the speed of the interface. Secure erase capability allows the wipe of any Lexar drive, while data migration feature allows the migration of the system disk to the Lexar SSD. This version of application has now a firmware update function for manual updating in case we have a newer firmware downloaded from their website. Next, I will use the Maxio NVMe Flash ID tool to identify the NAND modules paired with this controller. After launch, the only thing to do is to type the drive number of the SSD having a Maxiotech controller. By pressing the space key, a text file will be generated and opened in Notepad, where we can see that this drive uses a 42MB host memory buffer, and that the flash used is the latest TLC NAND made by Yangtze Memory Technologies Corporation. In order for the new drive to be used, we must first initialize it. For that, right-click on Start, then click on Disk Management. Once opened, I am prompted to initialize the newly added disk. I click OK and the initialization is done. The next step is to create a volume. For that, right click on Unallocated Space and create a new volume of maximum capacity, assign a drive letter and a volume label, then click Next and Finish. The newly created volume is ready to be used. In Crystal Dismark, in a peak performance test with 1GB file, NM790 gets the first place, with sequential speeds as advertised, while having the best read speeds of all drives. In a peak performance test with 8GB file, it remains on top of MP44, sustaining the advertised sequential speeds and the superior sequential and random read speeds. 
In the real world performance test with 1GB file, NM790 gets the first place, having the best sequential speeds and the best random read speed of all drives. In the real world performance test with 8GB file, it delivers again the best sequential speeds and the best random read speed of all. SSD benchmark determines the sequential and random read and write performance of the SSD without using the operating system cache, rewarding the drives with better random speeds. Therefore, in a test with 1GB file, NM790 places the second above MP44 with 96 points. However, in a test with 10GB file, NM791TB climbs to top due to the best read speeds of all drives. This is the sequential read diagram in megabytes per second of the NM790 drive, and this is the MP44's one. Here we see the two drives performing identically with only minor variations. However, the diagrams of the same tests but in IOs per second reveal few small gaps between the two drives in the 512 bytes to 42 kilobytes range. The sequential write diagram in megabytes per second of the Lexar drive versus the Team Group 1 shows NM790 performing slightly better than MP44 in the 1 kilobyte to 42 kilobytes range. The diagrams of the same tests but in IOs per second exposes the slight advantage for NM790 in the 1 kilobyte to 42 kilobytes range, after which they are identical. The system drive performance tested with Passmark Dismark 11 places NM791 terabyte below yet very close to MP44 2 terabytes while having the best sequential read speed of all. A system drive on PCI Express 4.0 M.2 slot, Lexar NM790 got a little bit hotter than the other models, both on idle at 49 Celsius degrees and during Crystal Bismarck testing, when it reached a maximum temperature of 65 Celsius degrees. In Crystal Bismarck, in the peak performance test with 1 GB file, an M791 TB places the third due to weaker random write speed compared to team group drives. However, in a peak performance test with 8 GB file, it manages to go up one place but still having weaker random write speed than MP44L 1 TB. The real world performance test with 1 GB file places an M790 on the second position while showing the best random read speed of all. In the real world performance test with 8GB file, NM790 regains the first place, now having even bigger random read speed. The SSD benchmark with 1GB file places NM791 TB on the third position, with only two points below MP44 2TB while having the best sequential read speed. In the test with 10GB file, NM791 TB goes up one place to the second position, showing the best sequential and random read speeds of all drives. The system drive performance tested with Passmark Dismark 11 places NM791 TB on the fourth position, below MP44 2TB. A system drive on PCI Express 3.0 M.2 slot, Lexar NM790 maintained reasonable temperatures, both on idle at 44 Celsius degrees and during Crystal Dismark testing, when it reached a maximum temperature of 55 Celsius degrees. The 3 d Storage Benchmark evaluates performance by running gaming-related tasks and repeats them three times, this way managing to stress the drives enough to get a clearer differentiation in terms of gaming performance. The testing on PCI Express 4.0 places Lexar NM790 1TB on the first place, with a score of 3943 points and the highest bandwidth. If we consider only the result of write tests, NM791 TB still places the first due to the best record and install speeds of all. In the overall 3 d storage benchmark ranking on PCI Express 4.0, the NM791 TB drive fits between SNN50X 2TB and Team Group MP44 2TB. The Forspoken benchmark tests the load times of different game scenes, providing the individual results and average FPS at the end. I repeat the testing three times and pick the run with the best average. On PCI Express 4.0, the best average load time places NM790 on a second position between the two team group drives with the average FPS of 63. 
On PCI Express Free Zero, the 3 dmr storage benchmark places an M790 1TB again on the first place with a score of 3388 points. If we consider only the results of write tests, NM790 1TB still places this first due to the best record and install speeds of all. In the overall 3 dmr storage benchmark ranking on PCI Express Free Zero, the NM790 1TB drive fits between SN and 50X 2TB and the Kingston Fury Renegade 1TB. The best average load time in Forspoken benchmark on PCI Express Free Zero places an M790 1TB between SN770 2TB and an M710 1TB with the average FPS of 63. In the left chart, we can see the best current prices of the compared drives in Romania, the usable capacity in megabytes and the endurance for each of them. An M790 matches the usable capacity of MP44 and Gamix S70 blade and the endurance of Fury Renegade. In the right chart is the resulted price for 100 megabytes of usable capacity, which for an M790 1TB costs now 9 euros and 37 cents, making it the most expensive DRAMless drive in the chart, but cheaper than the RAM based models FireQDA 530 and Fury Renegade. Determined by the 5 years warranty of the drives and their rated endurance, Lexar NM790 1TB supports daily regular writes up to 561GB of content. Now let's relate the price to performance. Lexar NM790 1TB costs today 445 RON, equivalent of 89.4 euros. Considering its price and performance in 3 dmr storage benchmark on PCI Express 4.0 is 100%, we can see that the Team Group MP44 1TB costs 12% less for 2% less performance. However, if we look at the RAM based drives on the right, Lexar NM790 1TB is cheaper and performs better than FireQDA 530 and Fury Renegade in gaming related tasks. As you have seen, the Lexar NM790 1TB delivered impressive performance, surpassing the Team Group MP44 2TB, which has identical Maxio DRAMless controller and identical cutting edge 232 layer TLC NAND flash. Although the NAND modules are marked differently, they were positively identified as being from Yangtze Memory Technologies Corporation. But the NM790 has a big advantage when it comes to 4TB SSDs as many models are not produced in this capacity. If we look for the 4TB pricing, then NM790 is one of the cheapest options available with TLC NAND. The pricier options having DRAM are only worth if you actually do some heavy work with your drives. Otherwise, for normal use and gaming, NM790 is a fantastic option. Bottom line Lexar 790 is a versatile PCI Express 4.0 NVMe SSD that can excel in desktops, laptops and even the PlayStation 5. Although it gets a little hot, overall it's the best DRAM SSD for gaming tested on this channel, almost as good as the pricier alternatives with DRAM. I hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. From me, a big thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and also to subscribe in order to be notified when I release new content. Until next time, spend responsibly. Got help.